Love smarter, not harder. Today's question. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost nine months. He asked me to move in with him around five months into dating, and I'm going to meet the rest of his family for Thanksgiving. They live out of state. He still hasn't said, I love you. He says things like, hurry home, love, and shows me he cares in many ways. I just feel confused as to why he has not said it yet. I haven't said it yet either, as I'm afraid he will not say it in return. I do love him and really want this relationship to go the long haul. We talk long-term plans on a regular basis. So I think two things could be going on here. The first could be that he absolutely loves you, but he is not the kind of guy who is going to be real chatty about his love. He may not be super verbal. There are women who have been married to the love of their life, a man who deeply loves them, who have heard the words, I love you, a handful of times. Not all guys are going to express their love in that manner. They may demonstrate their love in other ways, by doing things for you, by spending time with you. Dr. Gary Chapman's work comes to mind. He's the creator of the love languages, and that might be a really fun exercise for you guys to do, to take the quiz, just go online and find one, and then talk about it, how you like to receive love and how you like to give love. Typically, the way that we like to receive love is the way we like to give love, because we assume I like to receive love this way. That's my love language, so I'm going to communicate my love in the same way. But oftentimes, our partners and, uh, and, and we are mismatched. So he may view uh, love and his love language may be different than yours. And that could be what's going on here. That's possible. The other thing that could be going on is that he doesn't love you. Doesn't mean he doesn't care deeply for you. He clearly likes having you around. He asked you to move in with him. But doesn't mean that he's in love with you yet. And nine months is a decent amount of time to get to know someone, but it's not its not an enormous amount of time. I mean, there are people who've been in relationships for years and years and years, and then it doesn't work. So it doesn't mean that it's enough time for him maybe to know that he loves you yet. Now, the idea of you not saying I love you, even though you feel it because he hasn't said it yet, personally, I support that. Now, it's kind of controversial because some people would say, hey, you feel it, express it. But you asked me for my opinion, so I'll give you my opinion. I never once said I love you first in any relationships that I was ever in, ever. Just wasn't my style. I preferred to let the guy come to me. I preferred to be pursued. I wanted to protect my heart. So that meant that I let him, what the what your grandmother might say, declare himself. I let the guy declare himself to me. That was more comfortable for me and a way for me to protect my heart, like I said. Now, it's also grounded in research, if you want to look at the science behind this, why we let men come to us. We let them be the ones to make the, dem the demonstrative and declare, de can't talk, <laughs> declare that they love us. Uh, it's grounded in psych research and evolutionary psych. And if you want to hear more about that, check out my podcast episode with Dr. Duana Welch, the author of Love Factually. It's episode 92. That might be very helpful for you. But again, you're in this kind of, this kind of, uh, there's a tension here because you just don't know. And I say it all the time when people ask me these kind of questions. A lot of dating is just continuing to gather information. It could be that he's wanted to see how you and his family interact. You know, the, at, over Thanksgiving, there may be some other things that he's waiting to see and waiting to gather on his end before he's ready to say, I love you. And I think you should be doing the same thing because ultimately, even if he does love you and he's not the kind of guy that's going to say it a lot, but that's something that you need, then that's information that you are gathering right now as well. You want to make sure it's a fit. He can be a great guy and you can be a great girl and it may not be the right fit. If he's going to be a guy that cares deeply for you and loves you, but just won't tell you when you need to hear it. So I hope that's helpful.